Today we're going to discuss the reasons to use a belly support belt during pregnancy and I'm going to show you three different options that I tried uh, and that I recommend for my clients. If you're pregnant and new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my pelvic health tips for new mamas. The main reason why you want to use a belly support is to just feel more comfortable. That's really what it comes down to. Depending when your bump pops, <laughs> some moms-to-be may feel the need to wear a support earlier on in their pregnancy and others may only use it later on, like in the third trimester, for example. Some sensations that may warrant the use of a belly support are pulling sensation in the abdomen or around ligament pain, which is normally around the belly button, back pain, feeling like you are being pulled forward and that you can't maintain a good posture. If you feel the need to like support your belly bump with your hands uh, or, by, or by tightening your abs, uh, that is also quite a good clue that you may benefit from a belly support belt. So these are the obvious signs, but there are other pregnancy symptoms that can sometimes benefit of a belly support because it takes a bit of load off the pelvic structure. So for example, swelling in the vaginal area or in the legs uh, could also benefit of a belly support sensation of pressure or heaviness in the vagina. Um, if you have to pee very often, like every 30 to 60 minutes, or uh, you have sensation of urinary urgency, so, you know, feeling like you need to go to the toilet right now, um, those are all signs that also maybe a belly belt would be helpful. So the first one is the mother-to-be, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. So if I show you how it works, you basically have a belly band that you will put underneath the belly bump. So not in the front, really underneath. And as you grow bigger, um, it, it will end up more kind of in that position here, right? Um, so you attach this one. And this one is really meant to provide an attachment for the second one. So it's not really important that it's tight. And then you have this part here, which you're going to put in the lower back and you're going to secure this on the front part. And oftentimes what I'll do is I'll do a first time and then I'll re-tighten after. So that feels really supportive, especially in the lower back because of that rigid part here. So I really like this option for second trimester and third trimester when the bump is getting bigger and you're feeling really pulled forward in your posture. So this is a great belt for that. For people who have back pain, I find that this is the best option because of that nice stable support here. This is a great option. I would say the downside of this belt is when you're sitting, it's not as comfortable. I find that for myself, when I'm sitting with it, I have a lot of bladder pressure and so I normally loosen it up when I'm sitting. So if you have the kind of work that you're sitting and then standing and then sitting, that can be a little bit of fiddling around. Or, you know, like I wouldn't do yoga with this kind of belt because the mobility is less good than with other options out there. So I would use it for standing activities or, you know, going for walks, hikes and things like that. This is perfect for that. And also I find that it's a bit heavy on the fabric and I mean, that's why it's such a good back support, but because of that, it's less breathable. So if you are living in a warm country or you know, uh, you're sweating a lot through your activities, this might be a bit warm. So we have other options out there that are a little more breathable. 
And the last downside of the mother to be is uh, that you can't really wear it directly on your skin. I just find the fabric a bit uh, irritant on the skin. So I will normally wear a tank top or just wear it directly over my clothes. Um, whereas there's other options where you can wear it directly on your skin. The other option is the Mama Strut, um, which is wonderful for providing many different features that you may need uh, throughout your maternity journey. So um, it has a back support here. It's a short, first of all, which you may notice here. Um, and then you tighten this here and you have a second attachment on the side to tighten it even more. So that is kind of the back support slash belly support uh, feature of this belt. Um, and then you have also other features. So there is three straps here that you can tuck in that little pocket if you don't need them. And you can attach them at the front for pelvic support. So that would be great for the moms who are experiencing vaginal swelling during pregnancy or even postpartum, or even some sensations of prolapse or pelvic heaviness. And inside the mama strut, you actually have a nice support for a gel pad uh, to use as icing. So that is something you can use postpartum if you have a tear or hemorrhoids and you want to cool down the area. So that is quite a nice feature. Uh, you could also use it during pregnancy if you had vaginal swelling. In terms of the downsides of the mama strut, I find that in terms of the belly support, um, it's more gentle than the other options that I have today. So because the belt is a little thinner here under the belly versus mother-to-be that I just showed you, which is a much wider, I just find that my belly kind of pops over a little bit and I, it's almost like I would need something that goes a little higher, uh, but that might just be my own preference. Um, in, and the other downside is it's more of a setup, right? You have the short, uh, when you go to the bathroom, you know, you need to like undo all, everything and then pull the short down versus other options that are just on the upper body, so you just put your pants down and then you can pee or <laughs> do whatever you need to do. Um, and yeah, like in terms of mobility, again, a bit like the mother-to-be, I find that when I uh, squat to the floor or you know, do, do things that require more motion, I find that it's a bit compressed here under the abdomen. So. I would use it more so, uh, again, for standing activities or walks, but maybe not like doing yoga or things that requires more like up and down mobility. I like the, the fact that you can use it postpartum and it's not just something that you use in pregnancy, but also can continue using after. And the last belly support option I wanted to introduce you to is the bow bay support. So you can see that it's kind of a tube, an elastic tube. It's been designed by a physiotherapist and it's just really a nice hug to your core and your belly. Uh, there's nothing fancy about it, uh, but it does feel great wearing it, honestly. Um, so I can just put my maternity pants over top. I can wear it directly on my skin, which I really like. It's super discreet, you know, no one knows that you're wearing a belt when you have that on. Um, and yeah, it's quite breathable. I wear it for, you know, my morning workouts, yoga, Pilates, 
there's so much flexibility, right? There's nothing rigid about it. It's been like, since my second trimester, I've been wearing it pretty consistently. As soon as I felt like my bump was pulling me forward, this kind of provided me that little support. It is not the best option if you have significant back pain and you know, like I'd say, in the third trimester, maybe if you're feeling like you have more significant pulling sensation, then you may wanna go for one of the two previous options I talked about. Um, but I would say that as an overall gentle support, it's really nice. Uh, it breathes well, you don't, even if you sweat in it, you know, like it kind of dries out. I also could see myself wearing this postpartum, um, you know, as a gentle hug when, you know, in the first few weeks you feel a bit loosey-goosey. The one downside I haven't talked about is that I think if you purchase it too early in pregnancy, you may end up having to size up in the th third trimester if you want to continue using it. I ordered it around 14 or 15 weeks, I think. And, you know, as my belly grows, I'm wondering if I'll be okay with just a small size or if I'll have to order the medium if I want to continue wearing it. Or maybe I'll just simply move to either the mama strut or the mother-to-be. Um, so that is something to keep in mind when you're ordering, you know, like if you er order too early, it might not fit you throughout your pregnancy. If you have any questions about those belly support belts, uh, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Otherwise, if you're interested in my free pelvic floor prenatal guide for new mamas to prepare for an empowering birth, you can download it in the description below. Thanks for watching.